Welcome to You Are Loved Ministries. Sitting beside me today, I have some amazing quilts. This one was made for me by my mother-in-law and her mother as a wedding gift. They spent hours cutting out little pieces of fabric and sewing them into this beautiful pattern. Once the pattern was complete, they hand sewed on the backing and then added the piping that goes around the edges. It was a beautiful gift, both created and received with love. You know, people have been quilting for centuries. It was a way to take remnants, pieces of fabric, that's the leftover scraps, and turn them into something beautiful. Now on their own, these small pieces of fabric serve no real purpose. So most likely, they'd have been tossed out as trash. But together, they can make something that is not only beautiful, but needed, loved, and used to bless everyone around it with beauty, warmth, comfort, and protection. The beauty of a quilt actually comes from its diversity. Small pieces of different colors and shapes of fabric are put together in just the right way to form something magnificent. That's how Christ builds his church. Different ages, races, interests, experiences, and gifts are all blended together to form one body, the body of Christ. The Bible says, For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another. Paul reminds us that even though we are all one body, we do not have the same function. The size, shape, and color of our lives in God's quilt is important. It adds beauty and diversity, but it's not just for show. We also have a job to do. Now, I've heard some ladies say they feel they do not have a place in the church because they don't have this gift or that gift. Ladies, that just hurts my heart. God made you. He gave you your gifts, and they are special to you. And you don't need to feel less because your gift is not showy or something that gets noticed. We all have a place in the body of Christ, the quilt of the church. Maybe you're the thread that holds everyone together with encouragement and love. Maybe you're the backing, the part of the quilt. That's that one solid piece that is rarely seen, but incredibly important. You are that constant in the lives of others, steadfast and obedient to God, no matter how difficult life becomes. Or maybe you're the filling inside the quilt. This is the part of the quilt that will never be seen, but it's what makes the quilt warm and comfortable in winter. You are that person that others turn to when they're struggling. They know you will always take time to listen to their problems, pray with them, and give them great advice. This is what the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 12, 12. For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. If you're a Christian, you are a part of the body of Christ. All Christians are. But we're not the same, and we're not supposed to be the same. So, be who you were created to be and serve the purpose that God created you to serve. Don't compare yourself to others. Your gifts were God-given. Use them. Now, if you don't know what your gifts are right now, I'll give you a hint. They are the things you enjoy doing and you're good at doing. Yep, it's that easy. So find a way to use your gifts for the glory of God. When we do that, together we will form a magnificent quilt of love and service to God and others. So ladies, until we are together again, never forget that God loves you and so do I. My name is Brenda Porch and that's our message for this week. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, and hit that like button. If you saw this on Facebook, please share it. 